Hello, today we're going to show how you can use the message export add-in for Microsoft Outlook to export uh, emails that are stored in nested Outlook folders. So what do I mean by nested folders? Well, here you can see in my Outlook PST file I have a folder called Demo and under that folder there's another folder called Demo1 and below Demo1 there's another folder called Demo2. Now some people spend a lot of time sorting and organizing their email messages and when it comes time to export those messages they don't want to lose this this uh, folder structure so message export has uh, uh, a capability in it that can help you export emails out of Outlook but preserve this folder structure that you have taken so much time to to build now of course I haven't taken much time to do it here but I've talked to people on the support line who have folders that are nested you know many levels deep and um, so what we're going to do is show you how this works. Now you can use this with um, any of the different uh, export or target formats that message export supports. So this, this would work with uh, PDF export, MSG files, uh, exporting to EML files, exporting to one of the image files like, uh, oh, I don't know, a GIF, you know, GIF, TIFF, um, CSV files. So, uh, wherever you would be exporting emails into individual files and you want to make sure that they are going to remain in a logical exported folder structure, then you would want to use um, one of the uh, folder tree export profiles. Okay, so these, these export profiles are things, these are just simply instruction sets. You can create these, delete these, um, you can refine them uh, and edit them. So it's so easy to edit these, you just click the, the tools button so for example, um, I go here where it says export from, I can select, uh, you know, selected items would mean just export the items that I've selected in Outlook. Selected folders would export email just from the folders that you select. Or you can do uh, selected folders with subfolders. And this is the one that we're going to use today because we're going to try to export all the emails um, from the subfolders. So now that I have that selected, I go down and I select the top folder. Oops, there it is, it's selected. So when we perform the export operation, it's going to export um, demo and then it's gonna to go to the subfolder demo one and then down to demo two. And then I, all I do is I click the export button and it retrieves the messages. It asks me where it wants to, where should it put these emails. I'll just tell it, put them right there on the top of my desktop. Okay, let's go take a look at what Message Export has done for us. This is the folder that contains our emails. This is the top folder, which is the name of the PST file. And inside there is the next level, which would be Main Inbox. And there is the folder called Demo. And inside Demo, we have all of the emails. And there's also another folder called Demo1. Demo1 contains one email. And then there's another folder called Demo2. And Demo2 also contains one email. So Message Export has taken our emails in Outlook and exported the Outlook folder structure and the subfolders. And it's organized the resulting MSG files because we chose to export the email to MSG format. And it's organized those files into that logical folder structure. So if this is something that you can use, we invite you to check out Message Export. It's our add-on for Microsoft Outlook. It works for Outlook 2016, 2013, 2010, 2007. And you can get it, try it free for 15 days at encryptomatic.com forward slash message export. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments or send an email to supportline at encryptomatic.com. Thanks for watching.